Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. In today's video we are diving into an app called Lunatask. It's been a while since I did a video, I've been a little sick but I'm much better now so there will be coming a lot more videos out quite soon. I'm back to my original schedule. But let's take a look at this application. I have done a review on this before but they have changed things up a bit and they've also added a relationship tracker which you can see up here called people but I will go through all of this in this video. So in your settings you can change a couple of things. You can add email forwarding, you can change the color of tasks on your calendar for different areas of your life and you can have different life areas. So here I have personal tasks, I could add one called work uh, like this and I could change the settings of that as well. So it allows you to have multiple different areas uh, just like you would in many other applications. Things Tree have this as well, where you can have areas and projects, but here you have different areas. You could use this if you're not into the idea of areas or you wanted to add projects as well. You could add projects into here as well. Uh, and you can add goals in here. So in my case, that would be for my YouTube video. So let's just say 3,500 subscribers just Subs subscribers I can't write uh, and here you could describe your goal or I would probably write something that kept me motivated uh, and uh, I would have this in here as well and you can have different goals for your different uh, areas of life which is something I like a lot. You could have this for projects as well, uh, again creating a new area and naming it uh, as a project and adding different goals. So that's what you can do inside of here. We have the all uh, settings tab right here, which shows you the documentation. If you ever need to figure out how something works, you have the ability to export everything as CSV and Markdown files. So your notes, your journal entries and your tasks will be exported in Markdown files. You can connect different apps, so Microsoft Outlook, iCloud, Fastmail, other calendars, Google, Zapier, uh, shortcuts for iOS and Mac. It has a public API and you can add set, uh, set up email integrations, create browser bookmarklet and set up home screen widget on iOS. So you can connect different things to this as well here you can request a new feature and it opens up a website and you can also uh, go to their uh, slack community they have a mobile app but it is still in beta so it is not fully functional yet uh, so this is the windows application that i am using right now we have already covered the tasks and the areas of life. We have notes here as well. Uh, and this is a quite simple notebook. You can uh, create or note taking app. You can create different notebooks and give them names. So I would probably set this up in para projects, areas, resources, and archive. And I would have a notebook for every one of these. Um, and uh, I would just add notes into there and move them around as I needed to. So this is uh, the welcome note which you get when you start and you can just move this somewhere else. You can also add tags in uh, the notes if you wanted to add tags and not use uh, notebooks but I think notebooks is better in this application even though I like tags a lot better. You can pin the note as well and there are a couple of things more uh, you can do so as I said you can pin it, you can uh, look at the tags or remove them, you can uh, give this a date if you wanted to you can go to full screen here as well and you can share this note as well either by copying it or saving it or sharing it via a public link. So that's all the things you can do here. It uses markdown so you can uh, 
use Markdown to uh, format your different notes, but it is a very basic note-taking application. It allows you to do everything you need, but I wouldn't consider this if it was just a, just a note-taking application. I would consider this because of all of the different features it has from tasks to habits to journal people and notes as an all-in-one application. You have your journal here as well and again quite simple you can press the plus add journal entries you can see the calendar as well as some stats on the site here uh, so you can see all of the stats you have but let me try and open one uh, journal page let's say it's for today and i can just start writing let's see if this works with markdown as well and it does and you can add the mood right here which gives you this happy memories by year and uh, tab right here uh, so you will be able to see uh, how you felt on a specific day which is really uh a really cool feature to have something I like to have inside of a journaling application but the last thing that I haven't touched on in my previous videos which is something they recently released I talked about this in my last video but this is the relationship manager and it is something I know a lot of people want and need I would need a relationship manager myself because I'm terrible at um, contacting the people I know, my friends, my family, and maintaining good relationships because life gets hectic and we tend to forget about our relationships when work gets too much. Let's try this out so I could add a name here. So let's just use myself as an example. Uh, and my name is Daniel and I will give I put up my last name here as well and I could add the type of relationship so close friends I could set up a reconnect so every week for example save uh, last time we connected Saturday last week due to reconnect in five days uh, and this is a really easy to use feature um, and you can also change how uh, you want the relationship whether you want it to improve or it is okay as it is and then I can add different fields so email phone number uh, social profile URL link birthday anniversary date text or note this is really good uh, for tracking gift ideas I always uh, tend to buy good gifts because I write down uh, the things people around me wish for I do it in a different application but this is actually a lot easier than uh, than having a note-taking app uh, for this so let's call this gift ideas and we can add uh, Lego just as an example and I could keep adding new fields and I could also add memories right here so I could add a new note or I could add a happy memory so let's just add a new note and I could write something about for example today which is the date here or I could go in and change the date so you could backtrack this and write a memory if uh, we went to see a movie together or something we did together so this is actually a great uh, relationship tracker uh, I really like this it is simple and it does everything you need uh, and together with everything else inside of this application it makes it really worth it now let's just quickly take a look at the pricing as well so uh, they have a free plan which gives you two areas of life seven daily habits 15 relationships time blocking urgency based priority prioritization Task timers, work in progress limit, notes and notebooks, mood tracker, email and Zapier. 
you can pay for the premium, which is $6 each month. I think they have a lifetime plan, which costs 180 US dollars, but I'm not too sure about that. I think I've read it somewhere. And the yearly plan, this costs $5 uh, each month, and you get unlimited areas of life, unlimited habits, unlimited relationships, weekly habits, different ways of organizing your tasks, so an Eisenhower metric or must-should want method, energy level tracker, stress level tracker, note templates, calendar integration, and everything else from free, which is really good. Uh, overall, I would say that it is fairly priced uh, for everything that it offers. It is quite fairly priced, and um, I think this app is for people who want to be more organized, uh, but want to have everything in one place and wants a simple way to organize everything. So in my case, I use a lot of different apps to keep myself organized, uh, but having something like this for people who do not have productivity as their hobby is actually a good choice. It offers a lot. It is really easy to use. It didn't take me too long to understand how this application works and just in general I feel like it is a really good looking application and as soon as a full version of this mobile app comes out uh, I would consider this uh, at least a lot more. I tend to use my phone a lot for capturing. As of right now it is in beta, you can try it out and it probably works okay, uh, but just in general, a great looking application and one that I'm really excited about and really excited to talk about. And hopefully they will continue to develop and become the all-in-one manager it wants to become. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. Thank you so, so much for watching today's video.